Good morning, fellow Dratini hunters. How are we all doing? Um, big, big news. As most people already know, um, Gen 2 has dropped. Um, as you can see, it's been a while since we've seen a uh, Pokemon caught. I've been out with my friend Rincewind Dark today, who's uh, been a massive help today catching a lot of new gen Pokemon. That was our first one of the day at uh, 2 minutes past 11. I'm not too sure when it dropped, but there was no Pokemon on my nearby a good 2 minutes before this. Um, as a lot of people may have known, or have noticed when they went out, um, it was very buggy, very glitchy. It wasn't working very well. So there's Swinub, my first catch of Gen 2. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's been an amazingly good day. Um, so I've taken tons of screenshots because obviously it was being buggy when the Pokemon first came out, so I couldn't really film anything. So me and Rincewind just went around cleaning up, trying to find everything we didn't have. So first things first, new evolutions. A lot of these now take items up, um, which is somewhat interesting. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Obviously, there's a uh, slow poke into slow king requires one item that you can get from stops plus 50 candy. I've already got the candy as you can see. Haven't managed to find a single item today in any of my spins. Um, uh, Sneasel, I believe that's called. That was like that. It was being so glitchy. It was hit and miss. It took me a good 15 minutes to catch this Pokemon or for it to actually work. Very happy. Um, here's our general sightings. There's an octopus over there. I its name currently eludes me, but we'll see it shortly. Uh, there it is, Octillery. Interesting Pokemon. I caught two of these. Haven't seen any more this for the past few hours, but I've not really been out for the past hour or so. Me and Rincewind caught it a day once we've uh, cleared up all the black screened Pokemon. Um, a bit wheezy at the minute. <coughs> Let me see um, as I was saying, so let's keep flicking through. We found this bad boy while we were walking. We both caught him. Uh, none of these have been a wonders as of yet, but I thought it was really interesting. That's the only one of them we've seen all night. Uh, what a glorious sighting, what can I say? Me and Rince were buzzing. Um, saw a lot of other Pokemon Go players out and about, which was quite nice to see. To say it was a Thursday student night around town, it's not exactly great. More nearby sightings. Yet another Octillery. Uh, raspberry and Pokemon combo, it's looking very amazing. Crobat sent from my friend. Um, we're going to sh show you the evolution shortly. Uh, interesting enough, when I caught the Octillery, it gave me five candy. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that yet, but if you have, uh, let me know. Um, again, my friend's Blissey. Quite nice to see in the uh, screenshots. This is a Pokemon Go player called Talk to Frankie. He plays in Berkshire. Uh, one of the first people I used to play with and proper hardcore grinder, just like myself. Again, another five candy for that. Also, if you notice here, it's uh, there's a first throw count, which is a plus 50 XP, which is absolutely amazing. That's going to make uh, grinding those levels a lot more easier. Another Sneasel. Um, again, uh, it was a bit glitchy, but most of the times of my attempts, it was letting me uh, catch the Pokemon. Again, another first throw. Um, Natal, I believe that is. Oh, don't wait till you see the recent... Uh, Natal, quite interesting, saw quite a few of them floating around. Um, Noctowl, found a wild Noctowl, we went and pursued that as quick as we could. There he is, 1,639 CP, I believe he was certainly caught my attention. So I've uh, tagged him as a roughly 70% IV Pokemon. Until I properly check, I will not know. Weirdly enough, uh, I didn't actually get a bonus candy for him, I don't believe. We also found a for it, which was even more interesting to say we were catching sentries everywhere, we were uh, just expecting and waiting for one to appear. Um, there's the furret. There we go. We also found an axe towel. I'm a bit buggy with the names, please forgive me, but there you go. We found one of them as we were running around. Yet again, another Pokemon that gave me uh, five candy. I got 300 Stardust from that as well, which is pre pretty interesting. New Pokemon, nice throw, curveball, pretty standard. Um, there he is. We're uh, going backwards. This was an interesting Pokemon because I've noticed with some of the Pokemon, they now sidestep, which is really, really interesting. There's sidesteps, which means my spin balls weren't doing so well and I was missing a lot. Um, there's catching him. He evolves, which is going to be an interesting one. Um, there's a few screenshots of the Pokedex after I've caught what I've caught. 
Um, on to the barriers. The barriers are now coming out the stops finally. Um, bit of glitchy at the start. I think it was something to do with the barriers. Um, so, as we uh, briefly touched upon another video. Na Nam Ab Berry. Nam Ab Berry. I'm going to go with. If I'm wrong, I'm butchering it. Fair enough. Uh, feed this to your Pokemon to calm it down, making it less erratic. So, I believe that means it attack less. Um, I'm pretty sure it is the attack less one. Um, I've just noticed the battery. It's absolutely dying hard right now. It cannot sustain this for long. So I'm going to quickly plug this in. Pokemon gotta go, gotta work now. Oh, we've just broken it. Maybe I have to do the evolutions in the next part, guys, because I think I've just broke Pokemon Go. Um, with my internet switching. Yes, yes, I do. So, I'm gonna quickly boot back back to Pokemon Go again. And we'll try again. So, give it a couple more minutes. This video is probably gonna be about 15 minutes at this point to show you how close I can be. Oh my god, I can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, so it's up to almost at past 3 in the morning for me now, I probably should play Pokemon Go about an hour ago. A bit of Pokemon music for you. Um, we'll quickly deal with that in a minute. Uh, the loading screen's quite good. Um, obviously all the lagginess and glitchiness seems to have uh, dissipated since I uh, started playing with it. I will quickly jump onto my phone to get rid of the sound because I don't know how uh, Vibrations you don't really need, is there anything spawning? Oh, oh, while we're here, yep, fair enough, while we're here, we'll push the back up.
program, if we are quick about it, we're going to look to do the uh, land of attacks to do. So under the crowbar, um, can't do my glitching, unfortunately.
Ibrahim Dwi Kem Dwi